All right, so if you managed to create another product before the break, uh, very good. Uh, we're going to create more products, of course, but let's think about organization. Uh, because at the moment, the default is that when you add products, they will go to your products page, which sounds good. But actually, that will be uh, a big jumble eventually. Every new product will be added to the products page. I'm going to have 20 products in total. So am I going to have people scroll and scroll and scroll to find the products? Or am I going to have them go to next page, previous page, and so forth? Um, what I want to actually do is, my concept is, under the shop menu item on the left, I want that to open up. And from there I want it to show me cakes link, pies link. Uh, cookies link. I want to see individual kinds of products separated into their own section. They can still go back to the shop and see every single product, but I want specific products to be in specific specific links. And the way that will work is, is to take advantage of categories. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the back end, hover over products, and let's go to categories. Let's go to products and categories. So posts have categories, so do products. They're a way to organize. Let's go to products and categories. And we should see <coughs> that we've got cakes and product category. <coughs> cakes is uh, saved as simply cakes in the HTML product category is saved as product-category lowercase. That's the slug. Usually we don't have to deal with it, it writes itself. But here I'm showing that we can name these categories whatever we want and WordPress internally takes care of it. Notice also there is one product in the cakes category, or in your case probably two. And so products, products screen is where we set up the different ways to organize our products. We can have one product in more than one category. And it's often confusing to try to explain products, categories, and product tags. We'll do it together and we'll see if it makes sense. So category. I'm going to sell cakes, a bunch of different kinds of cakes. I'm also going to sell a bunch of different kinds of pies, and a bunch of different kinds of cookies, and a bunch of different kinds of X. So let's, let's say first here, our next category, pies. This is a category of pies. All my pies, whatever they are, key lime pie, uh, pecan pie, shoe fly pie, whatever, all of my kinds of pies will be part of the pie category, such as I had my chocolate cake, strawberry cake, birthday cake, wedding cake. What else kind of cake is it? Divorce cake? I don't know. Um, so we've got pies, name, slug, it'll fill itself in, don't worry. Parent, if we were going to have subcategories of categories, like uh, cakes, and we're going to sell some that are sugar-free, and some that actually taste good, we can have two different <laughs> kinds of category subcategories of pies there. We won't have a parent category here, this will be a top level pies. We could obviously organize this as deeply as we want. Description is not prominent by default, however some themes may show it. Again, discovery phase. I don't know if this will appear on my on my design, I might as well fill this in. So pies will say uh, handmade from classic recipes. This may or may not show up on screen, but by me filling this in and then going to look at the shop, I might see it and decide if it's useful or not. Advanced store settings. I can add a thumbnail to this particular category. Depending on the setting of presentation, this may or may not show up. I'm going to skip it but the theme may show a thumbnail for your categories, or it may not. Uh, <coughs> I can't choose the different kind of view, list or grid, it's just default, so I can't change that. 
Do I want to change the size of my thumbnail? I'll leave the default alone, which I got out of the settings screen. Restrict to markets. Do I want to sh sell this product or show this product to a certain location or not? I'll leave that alone. Check out settings. If I created more than one checkout form, I can attach the different forms to these categories. We might have a checkout form for um, some kind of product that is different than another, which requires us to ask more information. Uh, home address, billing address, Twitter address. Do I want to override the default, which is use the shipping address or the billing address? No, the default is fine. That's why it's the default. So I didn't change anything except for giving it a name and giving it a description. So let's click Add New Product Category at the very bottom. <coughs> at the top now, it says I've got pies, cakes, and products. We'll add one more category, cookies. So cookies, again, any sort of description will work. Uh, it may be prominent or not. We'll say batch a day keeps the doctor away. except for our sugar cookies. Little disclaimer. So just some sort of name and description. Click at the bottom, add new product category. So we've got three main categories so far. Let's add some products to each of the categories. Then we'll talk about showing those categories independently from each other. We're going to populate the categories first uh, with actual products. So on the left side, we will add a new product. Let's add pecan pie. Pecan pie. Whatever we want to write here from grandma's bold recipe. I haven't addressed tags yet. Don't worry, we'll get back to that. Categories. Obviously, I want to set this to pies. I'm not really using product category anymore. It's such a generic thing. Uh, I don't really need to use it. I want to be specific, so this has got category pies. You can set a featured image if you like. Remember, we don't really have any relevant ones, but I'll just select one. I'll add a price. What's a good price for pecan pie nowadays? $13, sure. I'm not going to worry about that. No limited stock. Taxes, don't worry. Variations, don't worry. Product delivery, we don't really have to worry about any of these things really. I just want to create some quick products. We've got pecan pie, we've got a description, we've got a picture. Just publish it. Let's add one more product. What's that? I just put thirteen dollars. Where is the what? the price. The box for it? Yeah. It should be on the on the right side. If you scroll down a little bit on the right side column. Go up, 
So I guess you're not today. You are currently over to the candle board is what you need to do is Ooh, Yeah, you're making it become a positive candle board. You're not having a candle board. Wow. All right, so we've got uh, we've got a cake, at least one cake. We've got a pie. Let's add uh, one more pie, just so we have a few items. So at the top, I will select Add New Product. What's another kind of pie that we can sell? Key lime pie. Whatever description from only the best Florida key lines. Put some kind of price, some picture, and publish it. Oh, don't forget also pies category. So price, picture, category, and then publish. And now when we visit site, we go to the shop. I have chocolate cake, key lime pie, pecan pie, and probably the one that you created. So chocolate cake, key lime pie, pecan pie. Again, the point here is all of these products are just going into the one screen of the shop. I want to separate them into their own screens. I want to have here, from the shop menu, I want to open it and it'll say cakes, <coughs> pies, cookies, and then the appropriate category will then be on the appropriate screen. Let's do that. Is everyone on this point? Did everyone get a few products working like this? Okay, the way this works is we are going to create menu items to display um, to display categories, categories of products. We can do it a couple of ways. I haven't decided which is the easier way, so I'll show you one way first. <coughs> this might be the easier way, actually. Let's go back to um, the dashboard. Let's go to Appearance, Menus, this is what our menu looks like so far, there are all of these buttons, and we can add pages, but notice we can add pages, posts, products, blah 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 blah, product categories, we can select to add product categories directly to the menu. If you open product categories section, the most used are these so far, but I've got view all. Cakes, cookies, pies, products. So I'm going to select cookies and cakes and pies from the products category view all. I'll select all three of those and add to menu and then move them so that they are inside of my shop menu item. Once you click add, they all get added to the bottom of the menu. I want to move them into the shop like this.
Now the concept is there's a menu and when someone clicks the little triangle for shop, it will reveal cakes, cookies, pies, your account, transactions, checkout. When you put them in here, when you arrange them, remember to click Save Menu. <coughs> Save Menu, and then go to Visit Site. Oh, look at that. And then when we open up the, the tr triangle, cookies, a batch of eight, which is Dr. Way, pies, handmade from class recipe. The description that we wrote for the category shows up in the menu item. I suppose if we added a thumbnail, possibly, to the categories, that might show up here as well. But it might be looking a little cluttered if you've also got a little picture in the menu. I did, we didn't write one. That's the one that when we created a product, we just created a category right away without creating it with a description. So now the point of this is if I click on cakes, only cakes appears here and there's uh, there's one cake that I've got. You probably probably have two. So I've got one cake there. If I go over to pies, there's my key lime and my pecan pie. And if I go over to cookies, well, we haven't dealt with cookies yet, so there's nothing here. And this theme also has the picture on, on top of the category. Uh, notice it seems to ge be getting the picture of the last, well, the topmost product, and it puts it up here. If I don't want that picture, we can go back to the dashboard, products, categories, and I can do a little fine-tuning here. I can go back to the product categories, go back to edit, and change, add a description. I would never add a description to cakes. Add a description to cake with edit. Maybe add a picture. We'll see if that picture takes, is replaced here. So another description, cakes for all. Um, category image, let me choose So you can go back to your categories and keep editing them. In my case, it's not showing the description, which I'm not going to spend too much time to figure out, but notice the way the difference between this category and the other two is that we made the cookies and pies category through the categories screen. We made the cakes category at the moment that we were making a product. This seems to be perhaps a, a bug there. So what I'm saying is, when we were creating the product, the first product, remember, we came here, product category, we created a product here. That's the difference between cakes and the other ones. And for some reason, cakes is not showing my description, even though I've saved it, but that's the difference. So it could be that there's a bug there. And anyway, usually, 
when I do this for a client, I go in and create all the categories first. We figure out what are the categories of products that are going to be sold. Create them in the product category screen, add the descriptions, thumbnails, whatever. We usually we do that that way. We create the categories and then we create products to put into the categories and that hasn't given us any trouble. Here, it, I'm not going to worry about it that it's not showing up how I want, but just be aware of that, that it might be better to create the categories first. Yes? Uh, the shop the page has disappeared. All your pages of your shop? Yeah, the shop Let's take a look. Well, there's no one to do so you'll have to manually grab the shop and move it above or below the blog. So all of them you've done them, you're going to need to move them all manually. There's no easy way to move them all at once. So you're going to move them all manually to the next one. Bring them to the front, or else allow them to be converted. Okay, so it's coming on. Maybe it was just open very slowly. Okay, so here's a quick helpful tip. Here's another way to edit the descriptions of the menu. If you go back to the to the menu screen, here are all of the items we've got in our menu. And if you remember to open the menu item, click the triangle, there's a spot for a description. There is another place for you to write a little bit of text there next to your link. Once you open any of these links, you can write a description. If it's not behaving like mine isn't, like yours maybe isn't, you can go here and manually write a description and save it or update it, and that should fix itself. So I'll say cakes for all occasions. And 
save the menu. <coughs> So now we can put the message there. If you look at the item, it copied it. It copied it for us. Okay. It's odd that it didn't do it after the fact. Yeah, that's what we wrote previously, and that got copied in, but it didn't seem to do it after the fact. Kind of odd. Okay, so we've been talking about adding products, the value of categories, they're a way to organize, and also to show them on your menu, separated, all cakes in one screen, all pies, etc. What's also helpful here is um, if, you, if you've got search, if you've got a search widget, we've got a search widget if we scroll down a bit below the video, We've got a search widget, and if we type here, um, let's see what happens. See what happens with chocolate. Anything with chocolate should appear. We've got chocolate cake. We've got one product that has a name of chocolate. Nothing else is labeled chocolate. What if I go with if I I have more than one pie? So if I uh, search pie, uh, key lime pie, pecan pie. So the search feature that's built in. To WordPress lets you search uh, keywords throughout your site. So if you're organizing them via categories and, and good titles and such, that will let people find your product. So that's internal search. That's uh, that's pretty valuable. It's kind of automatic. You just need to name your things, put them into categories, and then this works. Let's uh, address tags. We'll talk about tags. Let's go back to the dashboard. We'll go back to products. Just visit all your products. <coughs> when you go back to the products view, it lists everything. And you might have noticed there's, a, there's an exclamation point. And that's just saying, basically, <coughs> You've got wait rate, but you haven't added a wait, so it's going to complain. So either deactivate wait rate or put in a wait. Wait rate was down here when we were setting up store settings for shipping. I'm just going to ignore the exclamation points. But I've got products, three of them. You probably have four. Um, and. doesn't show it on this screen but here we've got categories cakes pies etc we've also got tags as I said I like to create categories beforehand and then populate those categories with the proper product the opposite that I usually end up doing is with tags I don't add tags until after I've added products. So I usually create categories and then add products. But then I create tags after the products. That's because tags are another way to organize. And I like to use tags as sort of like a fine-tuned organization. We have the big category of cakes and the big category of pies, and the big category of cookies. But I could have a chocolate chip cookie. I could have a uh, three-layer chocolate cake. And I could have a chocolate mousse cake. All three of them, or pie, all three of them share chocolate as a keyword. But one's a cake, one's a pie, one's a cookie but they all share chocolate. So I could use that as a tag. There are subtle nuances between categories and tags, but for all intents and purposes, think about categories as like the large organizational unit, the big concept. 
and then think of categories as the individual small ways to organize. And they're totally optional. You don't have to use tags. You don't have to use categories. But tags and categories are very useful to organize and for people to find your products. And even for the search engines to find and to organize your site better. So, in my case, um, these products, chocolate cake, key lime pie, pecan pie, um, I'm going to say that they all that they all do share these let's say that these three products of mine or four of yours do share one thing at least I'm gonna say that they all share that they're made with in, that they're made with organic ingredients so I want to add the the tag organic these three products will have organic ingredients and then we can add a few more that don't so they won't have maybe I maybe I will put no tag or I will put conventional ingredients tag. I want to tag all three of these with the same tag. We can do that here. If you select all your products, so click the check mark on all your products or click the top box, top check box. And at the top we have bulk actions edit. I want to edit many things at once. So I've selected all my products. I've selected Edit, and I'll click Apply. And so the screen changes to show. You're about to edit all of these items. I say, actually, I don't want to edit one of them. You can remove it. But I, I'm going to select. I'm going to edit all of these items at once. <coughs> Do I want to add a category to all of them at once? In this case, no. They are in their own categories properly. Do I want to add a certain stock to them all? No, that's fine. Same same price to all of them? No. Sale price? No. SKU? No. Wait, no. Tags. There's a spot right here to add many tags at once. Organic. All three or four of those products will get the same tag at once. I'll update. And so then, as many of those products that you had selected, now they all have that organic tag. The point of that now is, if someone visits my site, they go to the search box, and they type organic, all three of those products will show up. If they search for pie, only pies would show up because clearly chocolate cake is not a pie. But if someone searches a tag, it can cross boundaries of categories. Question? Yeah, for like all your pies, would you want to tag the word pie for SEO purposes? Or category is, is enough. Yeah, the category way to organize them all is, is enough for your SEO and for internal organization. You have to select them all and then you go to bulk actions, edit, and then apply, and then you'll see tags in the little box. Should let me check. Search widgets not include tags, right? search like on Google.
Yeah, but this is different. This is an internal search on our own site. Uh, so, okay, well, that didn't do uh, what I wanted. So, um, this is an internal search, and it's not the search box, the search widget is not searching um, tags. So that diminishes the value somewhat of, of tags because it doesn't, uh, doesn't find them. So if we included uh, the organic category, it is finding things by categories. And we can have things organized into more than one category. We've been keeping cakes and cookies and pies separately. They are separate things. But they can all be tag, I mean, uh, categorized also as an organic category. So just to confirm that, I'm going to create an organic category. I'm not going to add it to my menu. I could but I'm not going to add it to my menu just to show you the difference. So I've got a brand new category. You can do this if you want or not. It's okay. I'm going to create an organic category. I will go back to all my products. Select all my products. Bulk edit them. Select organic to all of them. Update. Now if I go back to search, get another search plugin. That's a better answer. So, yeah, this search plugin that's built in is seems to be only targeting titles of products. So this organization that we're doing is valuable, but I think I forgot. Usually for a client we do use a different search, and I forgot what it is at the moment. So this built-in search one is not the best that it could be. It's not finding our categories or our, or our tags, and that's okay. We can, we can, after a break, we can look up another um, search box, you know, actually do we have, just to confirm here, latest products, product tag, shop it apart. Hmm. Okay, I wouldn't worry about it too much at the moment, so tags are just another way to organize. The built-in search feature that we have is not the best. It's not seeing our product categories and tags. We'd have to possibly get a different uh, search when widget. I, when I Googled or organic bakeries, victors, it came, did come up. When I just Googled it. On a Google search? Yeah. I'm curious about that. I wouldn't expect that to show up. I just did um, organic bakeries, victors. Unless you're hiding something from us. Like mm -hmm. Like that? Bakery. 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 Bakery San Diego, family owned bakery. Oh, okay, yeah, that's from December. Well, it is something that I created for these classes that I never deleted. So, yeah, there is a Victor's Bakery from a, from a previous WordPress class, December 2014. So that's, uh, yep, I've been doing the same thing over and over for a little while now. <laughs> <coughs> but it gets better every semester. We haven't talked about it yet, but we, we, we will. How do they get the SEO button red, minus, some or gray, some or red? Well, that's what Joseph just asked. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, that SEO button in, a, in more detail a little bit later. So 
Um, I'm going to shift gears over to a couple of other things. Uh, any final questions about categories and tags?